What's going on, family? Robert here. As Jesus was being tempted in the wilderness by the devil, the devil tried to tempt him to turn stones into bread. And Jesus, though he had been fasting for 40 days and was hungry, he responded saying, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. He said that, quoting Deuteronomy 8, chapter 3, which reads like this. And he humbled you and let you hunger and feed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you to know that man did not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Here in the text, Moses is reminding the children of Israel about their wilderness wandering, and he's specifically reminding them about how the Lord provided for them, how he provided for them manna when they begged and pleaded and grumbled against him, and how this was a food that their families had never known before. But Moses gives some interpretation as to why the Lord provided this manna for them. He provided it to them specifically so they will know that man does not live by bread alone, by the physical elements that sustain their physical bodies, but instead they live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. They, 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 they proceed by, they live by the word that nourishes their soul and their spirit. And that word that nourishes their soul and their spirit is none other than the word of the Lord. The word of God is our daily food. It is our daily bread. It is the nourishment that we should seek each and every day to sustain us, to feed us, to strengthen us, and to allow us to keep on walking down this Christian road. Brothers and sisters, the question I want to pose to you today is, beyond these devotionals, do you have a time that you spend daily in the Word of God? Are you feasting on His Word daily? Are you wrestling with His Word daily? Are you chewing on and meditating on His Word daily? You feed yourself food every day. And that food can sustain your physical body for a while. But the spiritual food of the word of God can sustain much, much longer than for a while, but it can sustain you for a lifetime. So let me encourage you to develop a time of quiet reading of God's word, thinking about what God has said to you during that time, praying that he would give you wisdom and insight before and after the reading, but also asking the Lord to tell you how he wants to lead you from that word. Because brothers and sisters, we don't live by bread alone. We, we live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So let's eat up the word each and every day. With that, let's pray. Lord, thank you for your word. It is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. It gives us the direction and shows us the way. Help us not to just, not to just take bites, not to just um, nibble on your word, but to devour your word so that it can speak to us and give us the nourishment and, that, and the strength that we need to lead this Christian life well. In Jesus' name, for his sake we pray, amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for more daily devotionals. God bless.